welcome back to part 2 uh, in this i am just going to talk about the connectivity and also the registers used in the program and also the demonstration of the program now first thing is let us look at the pinout detail this is a data sheet of our microcontroller msp4305529 and you can see it has a total 80 pins if you observe carefully these two are the pins port 4 bit 4 and bit 5 is used for the serial communication channel 1 that is for transmitter and for receiver as we have just learnt serial communication uses only single wire so one can be transmitter and another can be receiver the same wire cannot do the transmitter and receiver job we have to use only one line for one way communication and same way we have here another channel this is called channel 0 this is channel 0 and this is channel 1 the launch pad kit which we have used in our previous lab exercise is a kit as you can see here the microcontroller total of 80 pins and this is the RXD and TXD that means this is the transmitter and receiver pins which has been connected from the microcontrollers pin number 51 and 52 which goes to the FET light that means flash emulation tool which goes to that through which the data goes through the PC or it goes to the PC that means though we are plugging here USB cable the data is put into the you know serial frame and then it has been transferred to the PC so we can receive the serial data by using the USB cable itself as I have shown in my first video So the UART connectivity, we have two serial communication modules. The one which we are going to use it is a channel 1 and we need to know about the transmitter and receiver pins and you may need to answer the uh, you know purpose or how to activate the special function on the port pins which we have discussed in our previous lab exercise. Now, if you want to send and receive the data we have to enable the UART we have to enable the you know data communication speed see these are all the points which we have to satisfy first thing is we have to select the IO pin and also you have to reset the internal state machine and you have to set the clock frequency and you have to set the baud rate and again you have to enable the state machine this role is given in the you know serial communication data sheet and these are the registers which we are going to use it the same like which we have learned in our uh, you know uh, port or mode select registers or pull up register enable is a kind of register which is used to configure the serial port and the first register as you can see here UCA the X denotes the channel number and CTL stands for control and one is the register number so it has in a C language is written like this UCA 1 CTL 1 and this is a bit which I have been talking about if the bit is going to be 0 that means it is disabled if it is 1 means it is enabled if it is 0 the SCA in a operation so when we are running the serial communication we cannot set any configuration values first we have to make it reset then only we can write some configuration values into serial communication port so first we have to reset so this value has to be 1 so this value has to be 1 ok so once we do that then we are going to select the clock 
and we are going to select the baud rate and then again we have to make it as a reset that means this bit has to be set to this bit has to be set to zero when you make it zero that means the communication channel is active now just see the c code how it has been implemented first to select into special function p4 select as i told you we are used port 4 bit 4 and bit 5 so we are just making these two bits as a high and then this statement as you can see here channel 1 and the control register 1 and this is a bit name which i have shown you in the data sheet and we are trying to make it in a reset mode and then we are selecting here clock 1 this is to select the clock 1 and then you can also choose here like 2 for you know the clock 2 and clock 3 again which I have shown you earlier in the block diagram yeah this is a block diagram we are choosing now a clock by selecting as a 1 you can also choose the master clock by choosing a 2 or 3 which I am not going to demonstrate in this video so once you select the clock we are going to select the baud rate this tool is used to select the baud rate you may refer what is the meaning of baud rate and you may understand is nothing but number of bits transferred per second is called as a baud rate so we have to configure how many bits has to be transferred in a second the clock what we are using is 32.768 kilohertz by using that we need to get the baud rate for 9600 9600 bits per second again it has been given in a data sheet So there are a lot of calculations are there you may need to go through this information and this is a table they are given for the commonly used baud rates what's supposed to be the values of the registers as i told the frequency we have used 32768 and the baud rate which we want to choose is 9600 the ucbrx it stands for you know 0 and 1 which supposed to be 3 and you see BRS supposed to be 3 okay so these two values we are feeding into the register as you can see here is a 3 baud rate low and this is a baud rate high we are giving it as a 0 and this is nothing but which you have seen the the values BRS the BRS is shifted by one bit so once you shift by one bit which gives us something like this like we have here like zero 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 in msb and zero one one zero this is a value three so it is given as a six here so how can I understand like as again you have to go back to this register which is available in the data sheet for serial communication this is a control and this is a baud rate register and this is a control register as you can see here you see BRS this is a 3 bit register so we are filling the value here as a 3 0 1 1 0 and these values we are considering as a 0 that gives me 0 6 so we are filling up here as a 0 6 and we don't use this control 0 so we just keep it as a 0 and then we are releasing the reset so once you have done these operations 
that means your serial port is ready for transferring the data you may need to read about this information and answer these questions as well and once you got the data ready we have to transfer the data so how it can be done we have to use a buffer register that means there is if you if you receive any data it will be available in rx buffer if you want to transfer it will be available in tx buffer so before you know transferring the data you have to check the status again this is a one more register which is available by using this register whether it's busy we have to check if it is not busy only we have to transfer the data and you can see that one quickly where is the register here yeah this is a register you see a status register and this is a, a bit whenever the serial communication receives the data this is going to be one if it is inactive that means it might have received it then it is zero we have to use this one before and after transferring the data just see the overall program now let me explain in the code barrier window itself first time declaring a, a string as you can see here this is a string and we have a variable and then the full configuration of the serial port which i just explained and we are going into a infinite loop here and i start with the zero here initial index so what i'm doing is i'm just checking is it end of string so we have to transfer character by character please understand character by character we have to transfer and the serial communication system will send the data as a bit by bit so first i have to send the first character so before sending the char character i have to check did i reach to end of string the slash zero notation used in a c language to check end of string so if it's not end of string we are going to transfer you can see this is a tx buffer the first character i is zero initially the first character is going to be w so i'm going to transfer the w to the transmitter buffer so once you transmit as you can see here there's a while loop and which i explained you earlier this is a status register and we are checking whether it's a busy so what is understanding if the status register value is this particular bit is busy means whether it's still transmitting or receiving and you know very well just um, you know microseconds ago we put the value in the register that means the transmit process is going on so once it's complete it will come out of this loop until this is one it will be in this loop if the value becomes zero in this bit this will come out of the loop and we make here i plus plus that means we go to the next value so it goes into this while loop here now not to this master while loop in this while loop so i plus plus means it will go to the second character again it will put in a buffer so it will get transmitted and then third fourth it goes on like this you may need to find out what is the purpose of having this 0a and 0d if you delete and then if you observe the results then you may identify why this 0a and 0d is there which you may need to answer in your lab question now just let me run and show the results how we are going to get it so just we have to run this program and as i told you you have to open that software teratum or putty which is going to observe the serial port and choose a serial port and as i shown in my previous video it's a com8 and the baud rate which we configured is 9600 baud rate when you say just open and you can see the given text is getting displayed here please understand we are getting this message from the msp430 via the usb cable and we are receiving it in our computer hope you understand this video Thanks for watching.